happy Thursday. As you guys know, I've been dying a slow death. I am trying very hard not to cough. I've redone this video like 45 times already because I can't stop coughing. So I'm not going to make this as long as I was going to, but it's, I really wanted to get this out there. So a lot of people ask me every day, why do I think Bobby's guilty? A lot of guilters ask me, you know, what gives me the right to say Bobby Dassey is guilty? Because when I look at the totality of all the information and all the lies that Bobby has told and how Kratz knew that Bobby was guilty and how Dietering, in my opinion, knew he was guilty and then all the lies to the media and really, really at the top of it is Kratz's lies is why I believe Bobby's guilty. So let me explain. To start with, in the beginning, let's go with the obvious. Bobby lied. We know Bobby lied. But how deep did Bobby lies go? Did Bobby's lies go? And why did he lie? And why did Dieter cover for him? Now, to give you a little background, Bobby's five foot ten, about 180 pounds, or at least he was. 180 pounds, good looking guy, brown hair, blue eyes. Um, he ended up being the state's star witness against Steven. And in my opinion, ultimately against his own brother. And we all know the wonderful smirk that Scott gave, which also tells me that Scott knew that his brother was guilty. I mean, Scott knew that Bobby was guilty as well. If Scott didn't help um, Bobby is Bobby too. But I don't care if anybody says that wasn't a smirk. That was a fucking major obvious smirk. Anyway, moving on. So Bobby told lies from the beginning. Now, on I find this really interesting too. Now, we all know that, um, what's his name? Buckman Bushman was called out of retirement on November 7th. On November 7th, we all know some shady shit went on. That's not a secret. On November 7th at 7.08 at night, Bobby, uh, Judge Fox, signed the order to have all of Bobby's fingerprints, blood. Um, he had to give a finger. Um, he had to give DNA swab, uh, scratches. Everything needed to be recorded. That was on the 7th at night. So obviously nothing was going to happen at night. Now, should it have happened at night? Absolutely. Should have Dietering gone right to Bobby's house? Bobby, we need this, this, and this. Yeah. Why didn't he? Nobody knows, and Dietering never stated, why he waited so long to the point that it didn't matter. What I mean by that is, on the 8th, all this incriminating evidence against Stephen was found. So... Why didn't they jump on it on the 7th? Why did Kratz not tell Dietering or anybody else that Bobby had, that they had this stuff on Bobby's computer? Why did the special prosecutor, who's supposed to be a special prosecutor, named Kenton, the worst prosecutor in the world, Kratz, he didn't want any of the police knowing what was really going on with Bobby. He didn't want anybody. He hid that information. And it's sad and disgusting that he hid it, but he hid it. One of the conversations between Dietering and Bobby, which you can find on a CASA report, is I just pulled a small part of a conversation. But Dietering said, yeah, but you know what you have that we don't have? You got family intuition, man. So Bobby says, yeah. So Dietering says, so what's your gut telling you? Steven's playing his hand. Who do you think did it? I don't know. You don't know? Bobby says, what I told you guys is all I know about. Then Dietering says, so if you were a betting man, I'd bet that you didn't do it. Would you bet like that? Yeah, Bobby agreed. Who talks like that? You, this is someone that could be, you know, a potential suspect. And that's what you're saying to a 19-year-old kid? I bet if I was a betting man, I'd bet you didn't do it. Why are you feeding him answers? He was a potential suspect. 
Then later on in this conversation, Dieterink says, I've been in law enforcement for almost 30 years and I've done more than an interview or two. Okay. And what works for me is that I'll be honest. And then I find that usually, usually people are honest in return. Okay. Bobby says, okay. I can tell you that nobody from any sheriff's department planted any evidence anywhere. Why are you telling Bobby Dassey this? And that vehicle was found because we thought this through and we figured that something like this could happen. Bullshit. We made sure that no Manitowoc city or county cop on the property um, without another agency right alongside them so that anything that might be falling could be falling honestly. Dieterin wanted Bobby to understand his role in investigating the homicide. Why are you telling Bobby Dassey this? Besides the fact he's a 19-year-old kid. Secondly, what is the point? Um, find us somebody that did this. I know you didn't, Dieterink says. I'm pretty confident that you have no play in this. Am I right about that? Bobby mumbled something that couldn't be heard. I'm in prison for 18 years for a violent rape committed by Gregory Allen. The DOJ, um, that's who I work for. We are here. We're in the middle of this thing. The same agency that would ask to review that first case. Those same cops, me and the guys I work with, the guys that are here, okay? Another thing I want to chew on, people suggested that maybe me and the people I'm working with or any other cop like to make stuff up and twist stuff. I got it better. They rely on me. I got two kids. They rely on me. You know what? There is no case more important to me. And I am not going to jeopardize my family and my life for anybody or anything. Okay? Bobby said that. Dieterink said, that's where I am as well. Think about what was just said. Bobby... Dietering is feeding him. And Bobby, there's no case more important to me. I'm not going to jeopardize my family or my life for anybody and any investigation. That speaks volumes. Like, what don't you get? Bobby is fucking guilty. And they knew it. They fucking knew it and did nothing. Um... Dietering then said, <coughs> it brings shame, humiliation, poverty. We wouldn't want anything like that, Dietering offered. I'm not taking a chance. I'm 50-something years old. How old are you? 19. You can walk down the street, and if there's a job to be young, healthy, you could work here. You know what? I'm starting to be a liability, health insurance reasons. I can't do these things because there's too much writing on writing on for me. No cop and their mother says this to a 19 year old suspect or even the 19 year old victim. <coughs> 19 year old, um, not victim, but you know, a family member. And he goes on and on about how Bobby would feel knowing <coughs> how Bobby would feel, you know, that Dietering could lose his job. It, you know, all I hear is a clusterfuck of people admitting where they did wrong in their own way. That's all I keep hearing. I hear it from Dietering. I hear it from Kratz. I hear it from everybody. Now, what's interesting, and I'm going to shut this down soon before I die. Um, what's interesting, too, is that going back to Dietering and Bobby, Dietering did not know what a fuck up Bobby was. Dietering supposedly, you know, Kratz steered Dietering away from knowing that he was a sexual deviant. He was in all this, you know, stuff. But the one key piece of this that I don't think was made public enough was a conversation in Casso between Dietering and Bobby. Dietering was asking Bobby about Scott Taddock. <coughs> we know that Bobby, <coughs> fuck, we know that Bobby 
has been hunting for a long time. We know this from Mike, that he was hunting with Mike for a long time. Dietering asked Bobby <coughs> about Tadic. Fuck, I'm not doing this video again. He asked Bobby about Tadic and says, you know, Bobby was asked if he and Tadic, the soon-to-be husband of Bobby's mother, hunted together. Bobby said this was the first day that I actually hunted with him. What? <coughs> this, is, this is the first day that Scott that Bobby hunted? According to Scott, they've hunted many of times. According to testimony and Bobby, they've hunted many of times. It's just all lies. Everything is a big clusterfuck of lies. I'm going to have to do a part two of this video because like I said, I'm not redoing it. I've literally redone it like 50 times. But since I have no voice left, I will try to do part two later. But at least you guys got something for me. I'm sorry through the coughing. I'm sorry I got sick. Um, but I really, I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days while I'm on my deathbed. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos. Come back later and I will have part two of this when I'm not choking to death. Um... I thought keeping my mouth moist would help, but it's not. So my apologies. So that's why for the beginning part of why I know that Bobby Dassey is guilty. Too many lies. All right. Don't forget, check out my other videos. Check out, uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. All right. Or I might see you tonight, depending if I don't die or not. All right. Have a good night.